Hello friends, welcome to Geeky Rabbit. So while testing, sometimes you will be needing a dummy database uh, to check some values or something. So in that case, if a database is not handy, you can create it by uh, there are different options. And today we are going to see one such option. So for creating a dummy database, uh, just go to Google and just click on db for freenet so it is a service which will allow you to create a free mysql database so for creating more mysql database just go to this database link and uh, click on sign up so there uh, you can change the password you can delete the account also if you forget the password you can reset it from here but first of all we need to sign up so what is this db4 uh, so it will allow you to create a db in mysql uh, for testing purposes and this will be the dummy database and so for creating it just go to sign up so once you click on uh, the sign up you will be see that uh, there will be some different conditions that you have to be agreed on and the db4 net is just for testing environment and it is not suitable for production as it says here and there are a couple of other uh, criteria that you need to check if you scroll down so here you can see that there is a mysql database name mysql user name mysql user password and the password verification so for creating a dummy uh, mysql database just go to just give your database a name so we'll get uh, we'll give a name as test db so this is the database name for our db so for we have to create a dummy name so let's take tony 1234 so this is our username and just specify a password so you can give any password just check that it satisfied the password criteria and once this detail have been filled just enter your email address so I have entered a uh, Gmail address and take this checkbox and click on sign up. So here it says that there is some issue with this database name and if you can see there are some criteria to be met. So it says that no uppercase so we don't have to give any uppercase so we will give as DB. So this is our test DB name now and just click on sign up. Okay, so this test DB database name is already been taken. So you have to specify unique database name. So let's specify JMeter or any other name. Okay, Avengers. Avengers. So this is the name of. So just fill in the password again and just try to log in. Okay, so the registration has been done and we will be receiving an email or confirmation email on our email ID. So just quickly log into our email ID and check. So this database is just only for testing purposes and it cannot be used in production as I said earlier. So here is the confirmation link and just click on this link below and you will be redirected to the dbfree.net site. It says the database has been created and this is the uh, credentials. So the database name is Avengers12345. The username is Tony1234 and the password or whatever you have mentored. So just copy this detail on a notepad file and keep it handy with you. So now uh, there is a PHP my admin. So once you have created it, the database, now you have to check how to access the database. So there is a link of PHP my admin, just click on it. I'll close other windows. And here you can see there is a login screen where you can specify the username, which is Tony at the rate one, two, three, four. The password which you have specified you have to enter it here once again 
and uh, there is a server choice so you can select any of the mysql server depending upon its version so we'll keep the one as default and we'll click on go okay so this is the backend uh, of the database and you can see that we have avengers one two three four five our database here so now when you click on it there are different options that you can do with the database so first of all there is a create table so we will try to see how to create one table and the rest of the things you can explore on your own so for creating a table just we have to give table name so we'll say table one uh, or we'll give a more specific name as uh, like cricketers so there should be a number of columns four and we'll click on go so on the next screen it will we'll have to enter the column details so we'll give the we'll specify some field so this is the cricket id then name role and department so once you have done just specify the type for each of this column so for cricket id leave it as int uh, for name just change it to var care same for role and department just change it to var care also we have to specify the length and values for each of these column types so for int just keep it as 4 for var care just keep it, make it as 64 so this is the upper limit which you can enter and once you have entered this if you want to give any of the other criteria like null or there are many such thing which you can do like the, if you want to set this as primary or unique index you can specify it here so i'll be clicking on primary so in my primary i want the crick id field to be my primary field so it will be my primary key field so i will click on go and after that there are various other options that you can explore and once you have done it just click on save so once you have clicked in you can see a table name as cricketers has been saved and whatever things you have specified for it like for the cricket id field is for integer and its length is four that will be seen here so now uh, let's insert some data in it so for inserting it just go to the insert tab and by default you will be seeing whatever column name we have specified they are coming here and for them we have to just specify the value so for click id we will give one name we will give sachin role batsman and department will give batting so second will give point some bowler so that is the scene the role will be bowler department will be bowling if you want to insert a new row there are different options so this will be insert a new row it will insert a new row insert a new row and ignore the errors if you select it it will ignore the errors and it will insert the row so once you have entered the details and values in all the fields just click on go and you can see the two rows has been inserted it will also show you the query for inserting uh, two records into the table so it says insert into cricketers that is the table name quick id name role department these are the column names and values will be one sachin batsman batting this is for first record and second wasi bowler bowling this is for second so now if you go and see so here you can see if you click on here so if you want to see the structure you can go in structure where you can see the structure of the table but if you want to see the actual data just click on browse and here you will be able to see whatever data we have filled in that have been inserted as part of two rows so you can keep on inserting more data by keeping by inserting the values so let's do it once more this Just 
click on go. So again, the same procedure will be repeated. In this way, you can insert multiple datas and you can see it has been updated into the database. So in this way, you can create your own uh, MySQL dummy database for testing purposes with the help of db4, db4free.net. Hope you have liked it and thank you. That's all for today.